Now let's take a quick look at the text arc watermark. We go straight to the settings so that we can see what is different in this one. Name as usual, text. Uh, in this case, it's probably going to be a sentence, a number of different words because you want these words to flow around a circle. Choose font as usual, uh, font size, always handy for previewing. As you increase or decrease the size of the font, you can see how it changes the way the circle looks. Um, the radius is that distance between the center of the circle and the edge of the circle. And of course, that controls how the text looks. You can do an auto radius. That means that it will flow the text around and create just the right size so that whatever you've typed in will create an entire circle. Spacing is the spacing between words. You can control that being more or less. Uh, a and B is just like it shows here. It's facing in or facing out. So this way facing in, this way facing out. And the angle controls the way the circle of text is moved uh, right or left and the opacity as usual. Most of the rest of these are pretty obvious. The backdrop is behind the text and the inner circle is within the center of the circle. And that's it.